Marlo wants to become the new Nene. What is her plan? And how is she executed? Well, I have some new information that may reveal all of those answers right after this. What's up, Kim folk, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do me a favor and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, do me a favor and get notified so you'll know whenever I upload new videos to the channel. All right, Kim folk, come on into the house. We have a lot to talk about, and it centers around rumors that Marlo is trying to become the new Nini. What is her plan? And how was she executed? Well, I have some new information that may answer all of those questions. And here it goes. Rumors are alleging that Marlo has started to implement her plan to become the new Nini after finally securing her peach for season 14. Sources close to Marlo's camp allege that her plan is not to become a clone copy of Nini, but to adopt her brand as being the cast member with the biggest presence and voice. Allegedly, she plans to do this by asserting herself as the Queen Bee, then strategically befriending certain housewives in order to have them on her team and fight her battles to keep her in control. Sources are also alleging that Marlo's plan is not to be as vicious as Nene, but to gain respect from the other housewives by how well she plays the reality TV show game. Next to Candy, Marlo is the second veteran housewife who has been with the brand the longest. Sources say that Marlo more than anyone knows how to work the cameras in her favor. With a completely new cast, allegedly Marlo sees an opening to shape them in an alliance with her to elevate her star power on the show. Marlo was the perfect understudy to Nene, one, one source said. She quietly learned Nene's strengths and weaknesses and planned to use all that she learned to her advantage. Unlike Nene, Marlo plans to open business ventures that make sense to her brand, said one source. Another person close to Marlo's camp said that she is more than prepared to lead the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise into its new era. Allegedly, Marlo wants to restore glitz and glamour back to the show. She wants her and the lady's image to be classy and aspirational again. Allegedly, Marlo is working hard to help reshape the franchise and host production sees and appreciates her dedication towards the show. When asked how the other ladies were taking Marlo's approach to this new season, one source responded by saying, All the newbies are still new to the camera and are happily taking Marlo's lead as they become more, com more comfortable with filming. As for the OGs, they allegedly feel that Marlo is simply just being Marlo and are playing along for now, but they are unsure at how long that will last. All right, Kim folk, if this rumor um, is true, I can see it. I, I can see it being accurate in some places. When you look at the ensemble cast, right? Nene was a big, uh, voiceless uh, personality on the show. Big personality, big presence. And when I look at the other ladies, they're more um, subdued in their appearance. Um, in front of the cameras. They still look glamorous and beautiful, but they're not um, as, their presence is not as big as Nini's uh, was. When I look at Marlo, I see a beautiful woman as well, but I see a woman who is putting a little bit more effort into being the star of the show. Not only with fashion, but also how she's interacting on social media, by how she's branding herself. And really, let's be honest, for the last several years, Marlo has really been an unofficial housewife. So she understands the importance of portraying this lifestyle of glitz and glamour and being a perceived as the star of the show and how important it is not only to her personal brand, but to the franchise. Um, one thing about it, 
I kind of feel like that production is steering away from centering the show around one um, no, big castmate or one housewife. And I think they're probably going to uh, approach this season from an ensemble point of view. So they may showcase Marlo, but I don't think it's going to be in the way they have showcased uh, people like uh, Nini and uh, Portia in the past. Um, I do agree that the ladies do need to return back to showcasing their lavish lifestyle and also showing us more behind the scenes of their businesses. You know, because that really is the aspirational aspect that we all fell in love with when it comes to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. That's why they have been that franchise for so long. They were literally the first group of African American women that we saw on television that led very luxurious lives, but also were business women and boss and making boss moves in their personal lives as well. All that ties into the aspirational aspect that captivates an audience, and hopefully they can get back to that. Now, I'll be honest with you: if any of the castmates can do that, it will be Marlo. Uh, but you know, it does take a group effort. Maybe she can wrangle the ladies to get them all on one accord. You know, maybe she can, but that is yet to be seen. Hopefully, she can. But with that being said, Kim folks, I want to know from you guys. Do you think Marlo can become that new Nini, like that new star of the show? Or do you think Marlo just should stick to what she knows best, play her role, and let the cast shine as an ensemble? Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. All right, Kim folk, if you enjoyed this video, as always, please like, share, subscribe, comment, and I see you guys over in the next one. Peace.